This is one example of what price tag policy is. Masked men, thought to be Israeli settlers, charging towards a Palestinian farmer standing alone on his olive grove. A random act of violence, most likely following actions taken against settlements, such as the dismantling of an outpost. Weeks later, we meet up with Nimr Tirawi, the Palestinian farmer in that confrontation, which was caught on camera by a neighbor. He tells us that since then, he hasn't been as successful in defending his property. الشجر هذا يعني اعتمادنا احنا كوننا مزارعين اعتمادنا الاساسي على الزيت وعلى الزيتون وعلى الشجر After the number of attacks dramatically increased over the past year this group of Palestinians began patrolling the trails of the West Bank with their own response to price tag policy They document it and encourage others to do the same and to share their footage with the world They say the harassment of Palestinians by settlers often happens with the silent consent of the Israeli army. At the nearby illegal outpost of Havad Gilad, just like in most settlements, price tag policy is a sensitive issue, but the local rabbi agrees to talk to us about it. He says that he witnessed it once, and it's not as bad as the media make it to be. I spent a lot of time here. It's one time I've seen when they cut a little bit of olives, and it was after they destroyed three houses. The rabbi says that the young settlers here have seen Israeli authorities demolish their houses several times, and price tag policy is their way of fighting back. Ils essaient d'arriver à un point que le gouvernement ou les Arabes sachent que euh, je peux mordre, tu vois. Si tu, tu me détruis la maison, je mordre. D'habitude, c'est des petites choses. La vérité, les gens, ils coupent à l'arbre. Ils coupent au, le, euh, en haut pour qu'ils regrandissent. During a visit to a mosque which had been vandalized, the president of Israel called these crimes un-Jewish and immoral. Palestinians, however, complain that Israeli police rarely catch the perpetrators.